Hey y'all. Bad light. So I have to ask this question, and I hate to keep asking this question or even posing this because I believe people should be smart. Do you agree? Hey, what's up? I believe people should be smart. Hey, what's going on? Hey, y'all. Good evening on this good Sabbath. Hey, Miss Sheila E. Nicole. Hey, babies. Oh, God. So, let me... I'm going to do this with y'all. Terrell. (laughs) If you don't get out of my face, move. Hey, Brianna. Nay, hey. I know I'm supposed to be calling everybody back, y'all. My phone's been going off the off the ringer. Oh, that's so much better. Praise God. Um, question, y'all. I got a real serious question. Y'all share this live. Y'all share this live. Ashley, when I say the best soap opera ever, so I have I have a question, Nehemiah. Y'all share the live. I got a good question. Y'all share the live. Share the live. Share the live. I need all 40 of y'all to share this live on y'all page. Share it in the Kojic pages. Share it in the Kojic groups because we're going to have a question today. When did Bishop step down? I, where are my Kojic people at? Where are my Kojic people at? When did Bishop Charles Edward Blake officially... Hey, Xavier. (laughs) When did Bishop Charles Edward Blake officially step down? Oh, I'm I'm here for it. I'm here for it. When did Bishop Charles Edward Blake officially step down? Here's my thing. If Bishop Charles Edward Blake officially stepped down, what does that mean? You gonna answer the question? Y'all, baby, King could answer that question. A- answer the question, King. Answer the question. You gonna, a- you gonna answer the peoples? You-, you, gonna- you gonna talk to the peoples? You gonna talk to the- Okay, I guess he wanna talk to the people. So, Bishop Blake, Bishop Blake talked about retiring and he talked about stepping down, but he never did. See, this is where y'all got it confused at. This is where y'all get it confused at. If Bishop Blake, if Bishop Blake was to have retired and stepped down, that would mean that who okay let's let's go back let's go back y'all let's go back because i think y'all forgetting i think y'all forgetting bishop pa brooks died last year he was the first assistant right hey what's up y'all he was the first assistant bishop pa brooks died last year which made macklin the first assistant and then cedric daniels The second assistant. Come on, y'all. Catch up. Catch up. I'm trying to help you out. I'm trying to help you out. Because y'all out here making stupid remarks. And I don't want y'all to be out here looking and and talking stupid. Especially coming on my lives and my posts talking crazy to me. Okay? First of all, with Bishop Brooks passing, Last year, Bishop Macklin is the first assistant. Okay? He is the first assistant, which makes Cedric Daniels the second assistant. Okay, my my students. Okay. So, if Bishop Charles Edward Blake was to have resigned or stepped down, that means that Bishop Jerry Wayne Macklin would be the presiding bishop. 
Because ain't that what happened with G.E. Patterson? Hold on, J oh, hold on, T.O. Hold on, T.O. I'm going to help you out with that. I'm not all the way sure. I'm not all the way sure why Bishop Macklin has not been doing the roles that Bishop Cedric Daniels has been doing. But, huh, let me think about that. Maybe Bishop Macklin is sick. Maybe Bishop Macklin didn't want to risk his health. or I, I don't know, but I thought it was strange that Bishop Cedric Daniels was running around here doing all these funerals and stuff like that, acting as the presiding bishop. I thought it was strange. I really did. I'm Kojic born and raised too, dear. Um, so, but here's the thing. Everybody going around here talking about Bishop Blake resigned. Bishop Blake stepped down. He did not. He did not step down. He did not resign. He talked about it. Do y'all remember the video? He talked about it. He talked about that's what's going to get ready to be happening. He talked about it, okay? He did talk about it. Okay? Let me lay down because child... He talked about it. So here's the other thing, y'all. I want y'all to. I want y'all to get this in your head and all my Kojic people. OK. I'm sorry, T.O. I'm sorry. Bishop Daniels is not is not Bishop Blake's choice. It's Macklin. Don't ask me how I know, but just know I know what I know. The choice for presiding bishop, as far as I'm concerned, is Bishop Jerry Wayne Macklin. That's that's per Bishop Blake. Okay. Now, on the other hand, here's what I want y'all to understand. Bishop Blake is telling people don't campaign, don't don't do nothing else until April. Well, what happens in April? Okay, so TO, you said you said Bishop Blake endorsed Daniels. What does that mean? Bishop Blake can endorse whoever he wants to endorse. That matter of fact. Has Bishop Macklin been voting? I mean, campaigning? Have you heard anything from Bishop Macklin at all? Have you heard a pin drop from Miss Bishop Macklin? Have you heard a pin? Uh -oh. Have you heard a pin drop from Bishop Macklin? No, you ain't. You know why? Because everything is already set in place. Everything is already set in place. And then y'all say, oh, these men are men of integrity. Baby, let me tell you something right here. This is a show like you have never seen before. Macklin don't have to campaign. Because when everything is set in place. When everything is already set in place, you ain't got a campaign. Because you're going to be where you're going to be at. You're going to be where you're going to be at. But here's, this is what I want y'all to understand. This is what I want y'all to understand. T.O., this is what I want you to understand. That although these people on the outside, it looks like all oh, their men of integrity. Baby, behind them closed doors, baby, these is some gangsters, hoodwink, baby, pimps, baby, they will cuss you out. All kinds of things going on. They will stand up. Katrina, you know I ain't lying. 
Baby, they will stand up and they will hold up. I see you in the future. And you look so much better right now. But baby, behind them closed doors. Behind them closed doors, baby, they will get you told. David, am I lying? They will get you told. And the truth of the matter is, if y'all really want to go back in history, baby, let's talk about some of our, our, our church's greats. Uh, Jacoby, we, we, I'm going to get to that in a minute. I'm going to get to that in a minute. If y'all really go back in history, If y'all really go back in history, Bishop L.H. Ford was very much so involved with the government. Bishop L.H. Ford, because that was my bishop. That was my bishop. Baby, Bishop L.H. Ford packed guns. Bishop L.H. Ford had bodyguards. Bishop L.H. Ford, them, baby, they packed heat. Bishop L.H. Ford was involved with goons. And Bishop L.H. Ford did not play with you. So all this, baby, there would not be, there would not be a Andrew Cardwell. Baby, Andrew Cardwell would have got slapped with a nine. Baby, they would have called him back there in that office and slapped the shit out of him. And I, I ain't lying. Baby, there wouldn't be no Andrew Cardwell. I ain't getting up. Oh, oh. You ain't what, son? I'm not. Never mind. <laughs> Baby, I promise you. I promise you. I promise you. Would not be. Bishop Chandler Owens. Bishop Chandler Owens. Baby was a monster. He was a good dude, but baby, he was a monster. Baby, y'all didn't. See, it's, this is this why I tell people all the time. I tell people all the time. Y'all can be bloggers and vloggers and all this other stuff, but it's a point where you go too far. And this ain't, this ain't in reference to nobody, okay? This ain't in reference to nobody. But see, it's a point where you go too far. See, when you start going too far, that's when these people start acting a fool with you. And that's when they start making threats and you start having problems. Now, truth be told, truth be told, our beloved G.E. Patterson was a pimp. <laughs> Y'all think I'm playing. Baby, back in the day, go look at them old pictures. Go look at them old pictures. Y'all go look at them old pictures. And baby, I know them personally. Baby, G.E. was a pimp. Baby, I had to talk with Lou, Auntie Lou. Baby, Lou said she had to go up in there and go scraping the woman about her mane, okay? Hear me? Baby, she said, I had to go tell that eh, not to be touching and fooling with my mind. Okay? James said, no, no, I'm being serious. Serious. I'm dead serious. You know, he got all the way right later on in life. <laughs> he got all the way right. He got right later on in life, but serious still. Baby, everybody in this church has a story. Everybody in this church has a story. Okay? Child. All right. Uh, it means he don't. I don't know what you're talking about, baby. Uh, anyways, everybody in this church has a story. Hey, everybody in this church has a story. Bishop Brooks. Bishop. Now we. Now again. Again, but I, I don't want to make it about that, okay? I don't want to make it about, you know, talk about who did what or whatever the case may be. But I want y'all to understand something. <laughs> I want y'all to understand something. A lot of times what we don't see, a lot of times what we don't see 
is what makes it everything confusing. Y'all really don't understand what's going on. And that's facts. Y'all really don't understand what's going on. Y'all don't understand what's going on. But baby, there are meetings behind the scene that we don't that we're not privy to or y'all not privy to. Erica said the question, the question you are you. OK, the question to me, you said the man stepped down. What does that mean? All right. Let me help you out. So what's some baby? Um, James, please come on now. Let, let it go. Let it go, pimp. Uh, baby, let me tell you something. There are people. Let me, okay. Let me, let me just say this to y'all. Let me say this to y'all. And I'm being real serious. What y'all fail to realize and understand is a lot of these people that y'all call yourselves trying to drag, a lot of these people are really connected. And baby, you will have folks at your house and you will have some serious problems. So my thing is the reason why I don't go too far is because the Bible says, know those who labor among you. I know those who labor among me. I know how far to go. Like I talk about pedophilia and all that stuff like that, but baby, I'm not going to go too far. I think everybody needs to be held accountable, but honey, I'm not going too far because I don't need nobody effing with my world. That part. I don't need nobody having the FBI tapping on my phones. Because it's just that serious. Bishop Ford was involved with the FBI. Bishop Blake is involved with the FBI. Baby, y'all better get y'all minds all the way together. While y'all trying to be uh, crazy and out here saying crazy stuff about these preachers in Cano. And thank y'all going to talk about them like a dog. Baby, they can ruin your life. Y'all want to be the presiding bishop and all. Baby, that comes with great positions, come with great power. Bishop L.H. Ford knew three, was a confidant with, to three sitting presidents. Where's the lie? Where's the lie? Huh? Where is the lie? Y'all got to be careful. Like we can sit out here all day and we can chop the job. You know, we can chop the chops, right? And we can talk about all what's going on and everything like that. But baby, there's a point where you go too far. See, grandmama then would tell you, all right, baby. Now it's certain stuff you just, you just leave alone. It's certain things you just leave alone. I be trying to tell some things you leave alone. Like I talk about Bishop Porter, you know, I, I you know, I shoot the, sh you know, whatever, whatever. I talk about him because the little shoes and carrying on. But the fact of the matter is, I know how far to go with Bishop Porter. Period. I know how far to go with Bishop Porter. That part. Let me tell you something. Freddie, don't say nothing to James. See, I don't even know who James is. I don't know who James is. But baby, there are people in this church that will find your IP address and find out who you are. And that's what I want y'all to understand. It's just that real out here. Baby, church people are people too. Why y'all talk? No, baby. One phone call. One phone call. One phone call. So, anyways, Bishop Blake, all of this stuff that y'all don't understand. You said, can I explain the little shoe joke? Okay, so Bishop Porter is short, right? So he's a short man and I got small shoes. Okay, that, that's the joke. You know, that so... That was that was Cabbage Patch shoes. So basically, Cabbage Patch doll is short. Bishop Porter is short. So short man complex. 
you know, that part. I don't know how you didn't get that, babe, but okay. So what y'all don't get is what we're used to doing, you know, like the whole procedures of doing things like, you know, protocol and all of those things and stuff like that. Well, a lot of times in the church, a lot of times, a lot of times in the church, people do what they want to do. There was no election for Mother Rivers and Mother McCool, right? There was no election. That was over a golf, that was over a golf, uh, a golf game. Yeah, that was over a golf game. And then they had a service at the women's convention. Nobody elected. They had a golf meeting. Yeah, they did. They had a golf meeting. And then they made, they took, they took, they took Rita Walmack down and they took Mother Rivers down. But see, they didn't have a service for Rita Womack. They didn't have a service for Rita Womack. But they had a service for Mother Rivers. Uh-huh. And they took Rita Womack down. And they put Dorinda in Rita Womack's place. Did any of y'all women have an election for the women's departments? Did any of y'all have a service for Rita Walmack and Dorinda? Did y'all have a service? I, I, hello, y'all talk back to me. Okay, wait a minute. Let me put my cash app up here since y'all y'all want to sit up out here and, and challenge and carry on. Come on now, be a blessing. Come on here now. Come on now. Come on now. Come on now. Come on now. Y'all make that make sense. Make that make sense. Let, let that make sense. When Rita Walmack was replaced by Dorinda, that was over, hey, Thais, that was over a golf game at the golf course. When Mother Rivers was replaced, that was over a golf game at the golf course. Period. Everything that you don't see is what y'all don't understand. And that is this. Baby, they already discussing who finna be the next presiding bishop. And it ain't got nothing to do with you. So while y'all fussing and having a field day and all those things like that, baby, they already discussing it. Matter of fact, it's already been discussed. What's up, James? What's your question? They already, they, baby, they've already discussed it. They've already got the plan of action of what they finna get ready and do. Somebody said, oh, don't be speaking death. So what's that woman that held the head, he, some held the head hexy or somebody, whatever your name is, man. Oh, don't be speaking death over the presiding bishop, Linwood Dillard. Oh, God. Linwood Dillard had prayed. Linwood Dillard had prayed. That's fine. Baby, Linwood, B Bishop Blake is going to die. Linwood, Bishop Blake is going to die. He is very sick. And I don't care how much you hick him aside. Do -do 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 Baby, listen here. It's time. There, there's only a... a a window of time. There is only a window of time. And certain a certain amount of time he has left. Why do y'all think that he's pushing this out so long? Mm-hmm. Period. Nobody's being messy. Thank you, Thomas. I ain't lied yet. I'm not lying. I'm not going to get on here and lie. I ain't coming on here with some fake stuff to tell y'all. Listen, I'm telling y'all what's factual and what's real. 
Bishop Blake got out here some months ago and, and did a video telling the people. Yeah, I want to know where you got that from, too. Where you get that from, niece? Where you got that from that Daniels was the winner? Now, I did say. But it was under my bed and the whole thing was just a puddle of water. And then when I brought it up, they all acted surprised. I'm going to whoop y'all. Hey. I did nothing. I, I did nothing. Hey. It's going to be me and y'all. Come here and close my door. Don't I did nothing with me. Close my door. Hey. Chin. Uh, hey, Scoochin. Look, Chin. Any minute, mighty mo. Hey, come here. I was telling him to close my door. All the way. I whoop y'all. All right, y'all. <laughs> so y'all this is this is my reality show um so where was we at where was we at y'all where was we at um oh and and here's the other thing too baby daniel's got power too let me tell y'all something what y'all fail to realize I mean, let me help y'all. What y'all fail to realize is a lot of y'all Negroes got a seat, but you ain't got no power. A lot of y'all got seats, but y'all ain't got no power. You have no power. Drew Shear got a little peace, but his daddy got power. Don't ask me how, but his daddy got power. Lawyers. People in the church, people in the streets. Bishop Blake, FBI, the government. Bishop Cedric Daniels, businessmen, government, finance, power. That's why you got to be careful. Like, did y'all not see how fast? Did y'all not see how fast Earl Carter went down? Earl Carter got all the tea. Baby, Earl Carter got all the tea. You hear me? Earl Carter got all the tea. Porter, okay, Porter, Porter's just, Porter's a gangster. Porter is a businessman slash gangster, but he don't do nothing with his, with his gang. Well, whatever. I'll just leave that right there. Y'all see how fast Earl Carter went down? Y'all see how fast Earl Carter went down? Baby Bishop, it didn't take Bishop Blake long to even get to that court and they shut Earl Carter down. They hit Earl Carter with what, a $100,000 lawsuit? Earl Carter may never be able to pay it, but Earl Carter had to get to it and sit down. But see, here's the thing. Earl Carter still out here talking junk. But Earl Carter know how far to go. Earl Carter know how far to go. That's facts. That's facts. See, y'all think people are just, oh, no, 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 baby. No. This is what y'all need to understand. That if you're going to be in position, you got to be a man of wisdom and of power. It's not just enough to be a man, a bishop. You got to have some power. You got to have some connections. What are you bringing to the table? What are you bringing to the table? Period. Period. 
Now, me personally, I don't worry about anybody else doing anything else. I don't worry about it. And influence, yes. Money, power, influence, money. You got to have some pull. You got to have some pull. You got to have some pull. It don't, it don't make no sense. So, like I said, y'all went and did y'all little voting and things like that. Baby, it was all a little smoke screen. They already know what they about to do. They already know what they about to do. Period. Everybody who going to be on the general board is going to be on the general board. Let me tell y'all something. I was just talking to Freddie about this. Let me tell y'all something. The reason why Bishop J.O. Patterson could talk to the folks like he was talking to them is because Bishop Mason was his granddaddy. The reason why Charlie can do what he do and, and still get away or, or still be on or whatever the case may be is because Bishop Mason was his granddaddy. The reason why Bishop G.E. Patterson could have left this church and they brought him back is because he is a grandson of Bishop Charles Harrison Mason. All these folks are families. That's what y'all fail to realize and forget. Oh, father-in-law. Okay, I might have messed that up. All of these people are family members. Oh, y'all missed that, did you? You missed that, didn't you? All of these people, all of these people are family members. So while you down here bumping your gums and pop, 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 and thank you, no, baby, all of these folks are family members. And all they got to do is pick up a phone call. How about this? All of these people are family members. And the families run the church. You not you you let me tell you something. You're not going to met you're not first of all, the church of God in Christ ain't gonna go nowhere. You're not going to mess up the church of God in Christ. And all y'all preachers, let me tell y'all something. Let me, let me come close, come close, come, come, come a little bit closer. All of y'all little pedophile preachers out here that's out here doing stuff, baby, they got they they know how to handle you. They know how, hold on, Thais said something. I got it, Thais. I just thank you, brother. I got it. I just blocked him. Baby, they know how to handle you. All y'all preachers. That's out here doing foolishness and carrying on. Baby, they don't know how to handle you. Before you make this church look bad like that, baby, they're going to handle you. Let me tell let me, let me get, let me school y'all with something else. Let me school y'all with something else. Let me school y'all with something else. It's not that they hate the gays. It's like any fraternity. Like, you know what I'm saying? We, we want to represent men. We want to represent men. So if you come out here, yes, granny, you ain't representing a man. It's wrong. It's jacked up. It is what it is. But they'd rather for you to have a form and a formality and look the part. They're rather for you to look the part. So when I came out and said, you know, years ago, I said. I said I was gay. You know, everybody kind of almost stopped fooling with me. But I maintained. I maintain why, because they didn't see me out here doing nothing crazy. I ain't got sex videos all over the place. None of that stuff. Somebody said, well, they didn't handle Rosalind Sanders Jones. They didn't handle her husband. Actually, they did. You ain't seen no one mess about uh, Bishop Jones, have you? You ain't seen no more mess. 
Maybe they dealt with that in the back. They dealt with that in the back. Period. All y'all men that like to be full of young kids, can't know? Maybe they handle that in the back. And you keep messing up, baby. They gonna let you just get on out here and mess your own self up. Period. Another thing. And this is still the church. It's not, let me tell y'all something. It's not that, it's not that they hate gays. That ain't it. It ain't that that they hate gays. But what they don't want is they don't want a sideshow. They don't want scandals in the church. That's all. And it's the same thing with loose women. They don't want this to become a scandal in the church. But what has happened, y'all, this is just like kings and queens. This is just like kings and queens. What becomes a scandal in the church is when you start to get loose and your slip starts showing. Maybe it was kings all throughout the Bible who had concubines and everything like that. But when y'all got loose and your slip starts showing and baby start popping up here, there, and everywhere, and everything like that, boom, that's a problem. Did Denise ever tell who the bishop was? Denise? Did Denise ever tell who the bishop was? Denise know what time it is. Denise know what time it is. She gonna take that to her grave. Was she right for spreading her legs to the bishop and carrying on? Nope. Nope, she wasn't. Was the bishop right for sleeping with Denise? Nope, he wasn't right. But it happened. Nope. Do you think Dorinda and them are going to speak about an abortion that Denise talked about? Nope. They ain't going to talk about it. Why? Because in this church, some things you just shut your mouth on. That's the way the church operates. Has nothing to do with God. Has nothing to do with the Holy Ghost. Has nothing to do with the spirit or anything. It's to save face and public appearance. Or y'all, I'm going to hit that cash out because I'm giving you facts. Baby, I'm, I'll be 36 years old. One thing I know is I know how I know how the church operates. I know how the church operates. And for all y'all niggas that's out here doing foolishness and fandanglement, you're going to have a hard time. Okay, come on now. I know I'm not. Y'all better talk back to me. Y'all better talk back to me. All y'all Negroes that's in this church, that's doing a whole bunch of mess in this church, you're going to have a hard time moving up the ladder. You're going to have a hard time trying to get a position in this church because you're full of mess. Your name is bad. You got too much attached to you. They don't want to be associated with you. That's facts. That's facts. They don't care about you being gay. Just make sure your name clean. We can fix your image up. Make sure your name clean. Make sure your name clean. Oh, you could, you could be out here, be gay. You could be a monogamous man. Just make sure your name clean. Make sure your name clean. Period. Am I lying, y'all? We know a whole bunch of gay preachers. But I promise you, they ain't got nothing attached to them. I promise you, they ain't got nothing attached to them. And if it is something attached to them, I promise you, it ain't all out here in, in the wind. It ain't all out here in the wind. It took me a while to get it, but I got it.
It took me a while to get it, Morales, but I got it. See, ain't nothing attached to my name. Like, it's stuff I hear, you know what I'm saying? But it ain't me. It ain't me. I, I promise you right now. Morales, tell me if I'm lying. Tell me if I'm lying. I promise you right now. If I wanted to be anything in this church, I could be. Why? Because I looked apart. I act apart. Or oh, they could polish me up a little bit. You know what I'm saying? All of that. I, matter of fact, I could be single in this church because there's plenty of single preachers in this church that have moved up and that are bishops in this church. Absolutely. You got to keep your name clean. Period. You got to learn how to play the game. And that's an am church. That's an am church. If I wanted to cross and be somebody's fraternity. You have to make sure that everything about you is good and clean. If I said I want to be a Greek, they're going to research me. They're going to research me. Period. They don't care about you being no blogger. They're going to research you. Make sure they can trust you. Because before I make you a bishop, I need to make sure. I need to make sure I can trust you. Brent said nothing. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. Oh, God. Hold on, baby. I mean, folks want to come on, talk about homosexuals and carrying on. Are you mad? Baby, homosexuals ain't going nowhere. Just like lesbians ain't going nowhere. Just like whorish men ain't going nowhere. You got a problem? Go deal with God. God gave these folks these hormones. What's your problem? Boy, like y'all real pressed. Y'all real pressed. Baby, like... Let me tell y'all something. A lot of times we, we are marching to make change, but you have to be very strategic in how you march and make change. You got to be very strategic in how you march to make change. Y'all want change in this church? It's going to happen. And I had to learn that it's going to happen. Change is going to happen in this church, but you got to be very strategic in how you do it. Being loud and bolsters and making a scene and carrying on, they don't always get you, they don't always get no moves done. It creates ha a havoc and chaos, and it makes people hate to see you coming. You got to be strategic in what you're doing. Now, let me say this, and I think I'm out of here. And that's this there's going to be a changing of guards in this church, there's going to be a changing of the guards in this here church. Niece, y'all listening to me? Niece, you are you there? Daughter? Somebody say hello. Somebody talk back to me. It's going to be a change in the guards in this church. And if you want change, you have to make sure you stay in place. Make sure you stay in place and make sure your voice is heard. But how you make sure your voice is heard is going to matter to everything. Y'all gays, y'all still complaining about like, oh, 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 okay. It's your actions and your presence. You can't bring shame to anything. And that's what anything. When you go to your regular job, can you be out there? Yes, girl, I'm twirling and all this other stuff. No, then you can't. That's not to say not to be who you are, but your presence, your personality is everything. Not telling you to be you, not be you, but your presence and your personality is every yes. So my like, man, I how to do it now. Tomarco, I'm on the on the thing. Tomarco, I'm on the thing. On the phone. Look like you got worms coming from your head. Close my door.
David, you are so crazy. <laughs> <laughs> so I met my brothers and they mess up what I'm saying. I'm sorry, y'all. Um so I'm I'm about done. I I'm I'm done. Um Y'all just look out. Y'all just look out. Things are gonna change. It looks real messy. It looks real messy, but that's just drama for y'all. Everything's already done. Everything's already done. This 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 is nothing but drama. Right? This is nothing but drama. Seriously. <sighs> I need to do a, a, a reality the jives. <laughs> This is my jive or the jive's household or something. I don't know, child. I don't know. Um, this is just drama for y'all. <laughs> this is just drama for y'all. Baby, the bishop has already been selected. All the candidates. This is nothing but the king and his court. That's all it is. This is all it is. This is the bishop and his court. And the king has to sometime check the chairman of the house and remind him who is the king of the house. That part. And if there's no queen, Hey, sometimes you can use the sister. That's just in case they do decide to pick Bishop, Bishop, uh, Bishop Daniels. But we know that's not going to happen. So, y'all just look out. Like I said before, the person that Bishop Blake wants, the, the, the person that Bishop Blake wants and is picking is Bishop Macklin. If right now, see, everything is already set in place because Bishop Blake is very, is deathly sick. Bishop Blake has cancer, stage four, okay? That, that's no, I'm wishing death on him. That's facts. Bishop Blake has cancer bad. And when he goes, who gets the next seat? Who gets the seat? I, I just need y'all talk back to me. Who gets the seat? Macklin. Because you remember, P.A. Brooks was the first assistant. P.A. Brooks was the first assistant. P.A. Brooks died, so they moved up. First assistant is now Macklin. Second assistant is Daniels. So, if something happens to Bishop Blake, it goes right to Macklin. Now, I don't rem there probably was a time when the chairman of the board stepped in as the bishop, but I don't remember that. Hey, Thomas, I don't claim to be nobody's prophet. I don't claim to be nobody's prophet. I'm just speaking what I know. So anyways, y'all have a great Saturday, okay? If I hear anything else, y'all make sure y'all hit that cash out. Talk to y'all later. Bye.